Hi, I'm Lee, and I'm the FP&A Technology Director at Revelwood. This video is going to help you learn more about IBM Planning Analytics. When you initially designed your TM1 cube, the order of the dimensions had a specific reason. It may have followed your chart of account structuring, it may have been based on something that you were familiar with, or it may have been based on your guess at what's the most optimal way of designing your cube. But over the course of years, you most likely added data, changed data, and did manipulations to what would impact the original design. Well, TM1 allows you to optimize your system by reordering those dimensions and re-indexing the database behind the scenes. PAW has introduced a feature as part of version 2.0.44 to allow you to do that reordering within the PAW environment. The way that you reorder your dimensions is to right click on the cube and select the option called reorder dimensions. The system will then show you three columns of data. The first column shows you the original order. This is how your cube was originally created. The second column will show you the current order. This will show you the impacts of any manipulations you've done since the time that you did your original creation. The second column will show you the current order. This will show you the results of any manipulations you've done since you originally created the cube. The third column is the column that we're going to utilize right now and this gives us the ability to set a new order. The way that you set a new order is we simply click on a dimension choose the option to either move it up or move it down. Once I move the dimension, I can then click on the apply button and the system will give me the information about the optimization. It will let us know whether it was a performance or a decrease in performance. It'll let us know how much RAM was either added or reduced, thereby letting us know the optimization results. The introduction of this function means that you can now perform cube optimization within the PAW environment. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you want to learn more, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this one, or you can check out our website at revelwood.com.